What's good, YouTube? It's Royal Ye. Yeah? And in today's video, I'm coming out y'all five, not four, five RNG tips and tricks. Look, man, before we get into this video, I just want to say, y'all enjoy this video. If y'all like this video, you feel me? Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, you feel me? I appreciate all the support, man, you feel me? Now look, I'm gonna put all the tips and tricks that I mentioned in this video down below on the screen, right here, okay? And I'm also gonna include them in the description. So don't forget, all right? So with all that being said, let's get it. All right, so I'm gonna just list off all five of the tips that I'm gonna later on demonstrate on how to do, okay? I'm gonna leave y'all with some clips later on of me showing these tips, all right? So straight to it. First tip, settings. So look now, these are the settings that I would recommend. I would recommend you getting used to playing at like a high sensitivity and always play on standard FPS 2. Standard FPS 2 allows you to run with your R1 button while aiming. So look, I'm gonna show y'all. Y'all see how I could, look, you see how I could just move left to right and I could aim. So yeah, always use standard FPS 2. Now look, I'm gonna go over the three most important settings for RNGs. Third person aiming sensitivity, um, third person aim look dead zone, and third person aim look acceleration. Now look, third person aiming sensitivity, basically what it does is it allows you to aim around quick. You see how I can move hella quick when I aim. So look, let's say I got a headshot somebody. I could just roll and aim up. You feel me? It's gonna be quick. So yeah, always bump that up. Now the third person dead zone, that pretty much controls how much you gotta like move your stick. So pretty much like I might so like whenever I move left to right, I kind of have to move my stick all the way. You feel me? Now I'm gonna show y'all what it's like when I bump it down. Like let's just say I didn't use third person aim dead zones. Now I'm gonna be real. I'm gonna be real. I ain't I ain't gonna lie. You could aim and look way quicker. It allows you to look. You can move quicker, but look, it's a little harder to control, you feel me? So, I wouldn't recommend it to everybody, but you could if you want to. Like, I'm not saying you have to. Me, I play with it all the way up, and I be bodying niggas, you feel me? So, I'm nice with it, so it don't really matter for me. Now, the last one, third person aim look acceleration. That pretty much determines how quick, and once again, you get to aim around and look around. So... You could look, see, look, see how I could look hella, hella fast, and I can aim hella quickly, you see? So, yeah, it's not much to say about the settings. It all comes down to personal preference, so that's it for the settings. <clears throat> Next tip, man, is to never roll first. Now, I'm going to have some clips later on showing y'all why you should never roll first. Now, I'm going to explain it the best way I can. Pretty much when you roll first, pretty much... When you roll first the person, your opponent can roll right after you. And as soon as they pop up or whatever, they can just shoot you in the head. And you're just going to get laid down every time. So, yeah, don't ever roll first. Now, the third tip I got for y'all today, man. Um, zoom in when you kill people. The reason why you want to zoom in when you shoot somebody from, like, long range is because it will give you more accuracy shooting at the head, all right? When you don't zoom in, like if you're just shooting somebody from far away and you're not zooming in, you're not going to have good accuracy. So when you zoom in, it's going to bump up your accuracy. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, always zoom in to kill from long range, all right? Now, the next tip of this video, man. Learn the spawns. Now, when you get a hang of the spawns, since it's like a small map, you know, RNG not a huge map. When it's like a small map, once you get an idea of where they're going to spawn, they're going to have the advantage. And what I mean by that is, let's just say you're going against somebody who knows the spawns and you don't. They're going to beat you most of the time because let's just say they shoot you, right? And you respawn. If they know where you're going to spawn at, man, they just going to pop you on the site, you feel me? you just going to get fucked up. So, yeah, you just got to get a hang on the spawns. I don't exactly remember every spawn, but I always get like a, you know, you could always get a feeling. You could always just get a little feeling, you feel me? Always get a feel of where they're going to spawn at. So, yeah, 
always get the spines down, okay? So that's it for that one. <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna be going over the best rifle to use in the RNGs. Now, a lot of people always ask, what is the best rifle to use in the RNG? The answer to that is the Special Carbine. The Special Carbine is the most accurate AR in the game to use for RNGs, but that doesn't make other ARs irrelevant, you feel me? Because the Advanced Rifle is actually the fastest firing AR in the game. But the only problem with the Advanced Rifle is it's a little harder to control, you know? So I wouldn't recommend it all the time, but yeah, there's not much to say. Um, I would recommend the Special Carbine for most people, but if you're more advanced, then I would definitely recommend the Advanced Rifle. Plus it is also better for switch killing too, so. All right, y'all, so that's about it for the tips and tricks in this video, man. Now, I'm gonna um, leave y'all with the clips of me demonstrating everything that I've mentioned in this video. So, with all that being said, man, I'm out.